Let's factor this polynomial by taking out any common factors. Focus on the numbers first, 12, 18, and 30. What is the common factor between these three numbers? Let's find out. 12, 18, and 30. Since they are all even numbers, they must be divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2, 6. 18 divided by 2, 9. 30 divided by 2, we get 15. Now, focus on these three numbers. Is there a common factor? Yes. They are all divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 15 divided by 3, we get 5. Okay, now, focus on the three numbers right here. Is there a common factor between these three numbers? No, then we must stop right here, okay? So the greatest common factor is 2 times 3. We get 6. Ah, so between the three numbers here, we can factor out 6. Okay? Now, how about the p? Is p common for everyone here? Is p common for all three terms here? Let's see. First term we have p to the power of 7. Second term we have p to the power of 2. But how about the third term? We don't have p. And guess what? Then p is not common for everybody. So we cannot take out p. Okay? Because in order to take something out, everybody must have that thing. So if we ever want to take out p, then everybody, then every term in the polynomial must have p. But in this case, the last term here is missing the p. And guess what? We cannot take out the p. Okay? So that's it. So the only thing we can take out as the common factor is 6. Okay? Then what do we have left? Let's see. So now for the first term, 12 factor out 6, we have 2, right? Because 12 divided by 6, we have 2. And now, since we, did, since we didn't take out any p, so the p will stay. So here we have p to the power of 7. Now how about the second term? For second term, negative 18 divided by 6, we have negative 3. And once again, p will stay. Now for the third term, negative 30 divided by 6, we have negative 5. And there we go, we're done. Okay? So we successfully factor this polynomial as the product of two polynomials. First polynomial is 6, happened to be just a constant. And the second polynomial right here, 2p to the power of 7 minus 3p squared minus 5. Okay? Good.